Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am here visiting downtown, here in Denver, Colorado. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting downtown Denver. Now, when planning my trip to Colorado, as many people do, I try to focus on the outdoors. In two of my previous videos, I visited outdoor locations close to Denver, including Dinosaur Ridge, where you can hike along real dinosaur bones and track sites, and Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater, home of beautiful views you simply cannot miss. Today, I was also planning on heading out, but I thought to myself, I have to visit downtown Denver before I leave. So that is exactly the plan for today. I'll share a full day of things to do here. Maybe it'll help you plan your own trip. So if that interests you, come with me. Hey guys, it is 9 a.m. in the morning and I haven't eaten anything, so I think this is the right time to visit a coffee shop. When talking about coffee shops here in downtown Denver, there are so many options. So my suggestion is that you visit one that is close to other locations that you want to visit afterwards. That is exactly what I did today. I chose Rooster Cat Coffee House. Let's go in and get us some coffee. All right, you guys, so to get us started today, I got myself a cold brew coffee. This has to be my favorite drink. Um, anywhere I go, I try to get it. I can't go wrong with this. So I have high expectations for that. Uh, for food, I got myself something simple, a plain bagel with some spread, nothing fancy, just something to get me through this morning. As you can see, you can choose to sit inside or outside. They do have this little patio area, although today's kind of hot, so maybe not your best option. Ah, perfect way to start our day. Now let's go for a walk. I am now located here at Civic Center Park, a green space area where you can relax for a bit, go for a walk, and check out different things. As the name suggests, you will find the Denver Civic Center located right here. There's also this fountain right next to it, which looks really nice. There's the two fountains right there, squirting right at the middle, and you can see the buildings in the background. It looks really nice. I think this is a great photo opportunity. And here we have a closer look of the fountain. Check it out. They even have a Greek style amphitheater located here at the park. But if you're interested in checking out an even more unique amphitheater, I'd recommend that you check out the video I made on the Red Rocks Amphitheater, an amphitheater that is literally carved into stone. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below for you to check out. You won't regret it. The views that you get in that place are truly amazing. The park is not only a nice hangout place, but it is also a place of high importance. It is the place where the Denver City Council is located, as well as the Colorado State Capitol, which offers tours and exhibits about the history of this great state. For now, I'm gonna chill here for a bit before moving to our next location. And if you are a fan of museums, downtown Denver has a lot of options for you to choose from, including the Denver Art Museum. This museum highlights Western and regional art styles. And it has to be said, when an art museum looks like this, you know they take their art very seriously. The Denver Selfie Museum. The basic idea here is that they have different displays and backgrounds that are very interesting and specifically designed for taking selfies. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a lot of fun, so check it out if you're interested. 
and the History Colorado Center. This is an interactive museum showcasing state history exhibits and lectures. If I were to recommend just one museum that you should visit, it would be the History Colorado Center so that you could learn more about this state's history. I have to admit you guys, shopping is not one of my interests, but if it is one of yours, I have two recommendations that I found on the internet. The first one is a 16th Street Mall. What it is, is basically a long line of stores, over 250 of them, along 16th Street. It is a very pedestrian friendly street, and there's also a bus that goes up and down 16th Street that you can actually take for free. Here it comes, and there it goes. A great option for shopping here at the 16th Street Mall are the Denver Pavilions. Here you will find many options including apparel, entertainment, as well as many more restaurants. And here at the Pavilions, they're not lying when they say that you can get the best view of downtown Denver from here. If you turn around, you can get an amazing view of the Denver City skyline. Check it out. Very cool indeed. The second shopping area that I would like to share with you guys is Larimer Square. If you look online for things to do here in downtown Denver, this location will definitely be on the list. It is a very iconic location and it usually has the Colorado State flags hanging over this stretch of road. Today, they don't have the Colorado State flags hanging as you can see. Instead, these flags are themed after the Colorado hockey team who just won the Stanley Cup. Still, it is definitely worth the selfie. In a similar vein to the 16th Street Mall, you will find shops lined up all throughout this block. And that is true for both sides, as you can see. Up next, what I want to show you is a few attractions around downtown that I think are worth checking out. Our first stop is here at the Denver Convention Center, and we are not necessarily interested in the Convention Center itself or what's inside the Convention Center, but more on what is outside of it. And I think you can already see what I'm talking about. Yes, it is that big blue bear staring inside of the convention center. Big blue bear is how it's known around here, but its actual name is I see what you mean. The meaning behind this statue, at least from what I've seen online, is that it's supposed to spark curiosity on people passing by. Like why is this bear so interested to see inside of the convention center? Definitely worth taking a selfie with this very popular character. The next location I want to share with you is the Daniels and Fisher Clock Tower. You probably recognize this tower as it's been in the background of multiple shots in today's video, especially the ones of the 16th Street Mall. As you can see, we are still here. The tower itself is full of history. It used to be a very successful department store building back in the day until it fell into ruin in the 1950s. Some very interesting facts about this place is that when it was built in 1911, it was actually the tallest structure west of the Mississippi River. Because of this reason, visitors to this tower were able to see 200 miles in any direction. When it fell into ruin, it was said to be demolished, but it clearly stands here today and that is because of conservation conservation efforts. Today, it remains here as one of the most iconic buildings in the Denver city skyline. The more you know. Up next, you guys, I wanted to do a quick stop here at Coors Field, home of the Colorado Rockies. Funny enough, I think I made it during game day. No wonder I saw a lot of people with LA gear on them. I bring you here just to acknowledge how close this place is to downtown. I mean, I consider this to be within the downtown area. But the baseball stadium is not alone in this. The basketball stadium as well as the football stadium are also very close by. This is not something you see often with stadiums being far away from the city which they represent. 
Last but not least, I would like to show you the Denver Union Station. The Denver Union Station is a train station located here in downtown, but actually it is more than that. Inside of this place, you will find a lot of things that will make your visit very convenient. Transportation from the airport to downtown, you got it. Restaurants and bars, you got it. Shopping, you got it. Hotel, the station actually houses the Crawford Hotel, so yes, you got it. And plenty of sitting area to hang out with anyone you want. And check out the outside view of the train and the rail lines. That looks really cool. Wow you guys, we have covered so much ground and so many places in today's video. I think the best way to celebrate this is with some cold beers. Now, Colorado is known for its beer culture and I want to experience it today. There are many brewery options here in downtown, including the one we saw at Union Station, but this is the one I'm visiting today. It is called Wincoop. I saw it online and it had good reviews, so let's go in and check it out. Check it out you guys, I just ordered food, some shrimps and pasta, and as we're waiting, I got this beer called 7 Minute Abs. I know, I wish. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers you guys. Ooh, pretty good. Check it out you guys, my food just arrived. It looks delicious, so let's dig in. Okay, I got a spoonful, let's try it. Ooh, so hot, but good. Mm. Delicious. I know this is gonna be a really good meal. I'll catch you guys after. Oh my goodness, you guys. That food was amazing. What a way to end the day. So yes, you guys, this very long video is now over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked the video as much as I did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna check out more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.